Front Matter to Zadig. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit LibriVox.org. This reading by Carl Manchester, 2007. Zadig, or the Book of Fate. An Oriental History, translated from the French original of Mr. Voltaire. Quo fa tetrahunt, retrahunt que sequamur, per various casus, per tot discriminarerum, tendimus in latium. Virgil. Let us follow wherever the fates take us, there and back again. Through various hazards and events, we move to latium. The Dedication to the Sultana Shera by Sadi, the 18th of the month Shevel, in the year of the Hegira. 837. Thou joy of every eye, thou torment of every heart, thou intellectual light, I do not kiss the dust of thy feet, because thou seldom art seen out of the seraglio, and when thou art, thou walkest only on the carpets of Iran, or on beds of roses. I here present you with the translation of the work of an ancient sage, who having the happiness of living free from all avocations, thought proper by way of amusement to write the history of zadig a performance that comprehends in it more instruction than it is possible you may be at first aware of i beg you would indulge me so far as to read it over and then pass your impartial judgment upon it for notwithstanding you are in the bloom of your life though every pleasure courts you though you are nature's darling and have internal qualities in proportion to your beauty Though the world resounds your praises from morning till night, and consequently you must have a just title to a superior degree of understanding than the rest of your sex, yet your wit is no ways flashy, your taste is refined, and I have had the honour to hear you talk more learnedly than the wisest Dervis, with his venerable beard and pointed bonnet. You are discreet, and yet not mistrustful, you are easy, but not weak. You are beneficent with discretion. You love your friends, and create yourself no enemies. Your most sprightly flights borrow no graces from detraction. You never speak a misbecoming word, nor do an ill-natured action, though it is always in your power. In a word, your soul is as spotless as your person. You have, moreover, a little fund of philosophy which gives me just grounds to hope that you'll relish this historical performance better than any other lady of your quality would do. It was originally composed in the Chaldean language, to which both you and myself are perfect strangers. It was translated, however, into Arabic, for the amusement of the celebrated Sultan Ulug Beg. It first appeared in public, when the Arabian and Persian tales of one thousand and one nights and one thousand and one days were most in vogue. Ulug chose rather to entertain himself with the adventures of Zadig. The sultanas, indeed, were more fond of the former. "'How can you,' said the judicious Ulug, "'be so partial as to prefer a set of tales "'that are no ways interesting or instructive "'to a work that has a variety of beauties to recommend it?' "'Oh,' replied the sultanas, "'the less sense there is in them, the more they are in taste, "'and the less their merit, the greater their commendation.' I flatter myself, thou patroness of wisdom, that thou wilt not copy after those thoughtless sultanas, but give into the sentiments of Ulug. I am in hopes likewise, when you are tired with the conversation of such as make those senseless romances above mentioned their favourite amusements, you will vouchsafe to listen for one minute or two to the dictates of solid sense. Had you been at Thalestris in the days of Scander, the son of Philip, had you been the Queen of Sheba in the reign of Solomon, those kings would have been proud to have taken a tour to visit you. May the celestial virtues grant that your pleasures may meet with no interruption, your charms know no decay, and may your felicity be everlasting. Sardi The Approbation I, who have subscribed my name hereto, ambitious of being thought a man of wit and learning, have perused this manuscript, which I find, to my great mortification, amusing, moral, philosophical, and fit to be read, even by those who have an utter aversion to romances. For which reason, 
I have depreciated it as it deserves, and have, in direct terms, told the Cardi Lesquier that tis a most detestable performance. End of Front Matter